blessed and it is what I've been feeling, Brian, yep. that it is in our DNA to reproduce. It's just, uh, I just want to prove that to you uh, very quickly. I'm going to read from Genesis chapter 1 and Philip. You already read these verses, so I'm going to read from uh, the, the NIV. All right, verse 11, Genesis chapter 1, verse 11. And God said, let there be lights. I'm sorry, I'm reading from verse 14. Uh, you guys wouldn't know any difference because you don't know what I'm going to say anyway. <laughs> so I should have just kept on reading. All right, verse 11. 14. Uh, yeah, it's actually 11. Uh, <laughs> see, my wife is behind you, JC, and she gets very upset with me when I... Yes, so this, this is how I do it. I didn't want to get in the middle of that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's try verse 11. Genesis chapter 1. All right, then God said, uh, let the land produce vegetation, seed-bearing plants, and trees on the land that bear fruit with seed in it. Let's say seed in it. Seed in it. According to their various kinds, it was so. And in verse, uh, let's see, the next verse, verse 12. The land produced vegetation, plants, bearing seed. Let's say bearing seed. Bearing seed. According to their kinds, and the trees bearing fruit with seed in it. Let's say, with seed in it. With seed in it. According to their kinds, and God saw that it was good. So, Genesis is the book of first principles. Whatever you see happening in Genesis is going to happen forever. It's going to happen throughout Scripture. Uh, when God created the plants and the trees, He made them to reproduce. He had the seed already in it. You get that, guys? Yeah. Already, He didn't make anything that cannot reproduce. So, He's calling us to reproduce. Now, I want to give you a fact. I don't think you know this because I didn't know it. And there aren't too many people that know things that I don't know. <laughs> so uh, I'm just going to blow you away with this. Did you know that all the seed uh, that a, a, a female has, they have it when they're born? Yeah. Did you know that all the eggs? Did you know? Okay, don't look at her. She said she knew. So uh, Ginny said that too. So Ginny just... <laughs> yes, did you know, isn't that surprising? That in the womb, that baby has all the eggs that that baby will ever have. Uh, when a baby is born, it has one to two million eggs within that little body. Now, they're not developed yet. They'll be developed in uh, puberty when the body begins to produce a hormone that causes them to mature. But one to, one to two million. Listen to this, guys. The fetus... In the body, before the baby is born, it has how many? When it's born, it has one to two million. That baby in the womb has six million eggs. You know, when I was thinking about that, those that take a baby's life, a fetus's life, purposely, not only are they taking the life of that baby, but they are taking the life within that baby. You think about it. Uh, the, the potential of that baby to give life. So everything that God gives life to, he puts seed within it. So uh, and that's a pretty interesting fact, isn't it, guys? Yeah. All right, so it's in us to reproduce. Now, in Matthew chapter 28, God, Jesus said to go make what? We've been talking about it all yeah, for two days. Disciples. Go make disciples. Notice he did not say go make <coughs> converts. Right. Okay, let's say convert. Converts. Okay, because we use that term a lot, converts, but he didn't say to go make converts. He said to make disciples. Now, the word disciple means a learner, it means a pupil, and it means an apprentice. Let's all say apprentice. apprentice. Now, someone just quickly tell me, what is an apprentice? Someone who learns from master. Yes, someone who learned. Now, there's someone that's learning to do what? Learn a trade. To do. Yeah, to do what they've been taught. I love that word apprentice. So Jesus is saying, go and make apprentices. That's basically what he's saying. But notice he did not say, go and make converts. Now, what's the difference between a convert and a disciple? Does anyone know what a navel orange is? Yes. yes. What's different about a navel orange? Seedless. It's seedless. Exactly. Naval oranges don't make sense. <laughs> you have to work hard to make a seedless orange. You can't reproduce a seedless orange. There isn't a seed in it. What you have to do is you have to take the branch that the orange grew off of and 
graft that branch into the root of a tree. I mean, you gotta go through a lot to reproduce a seedless orange. So a navel orange is an orange that is navel gazing. Let's all say navel gazing. Navel. You see, a, a, a convert is a navel orange. It's only interested in itself. It's not interested in anyone else. But Jesus told us to go and make disciples. Make people who can reproduce and reproduce, as you were saying, in 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 2. All right, guys, you have that? How many eggs are in the baby when they're born? One to two million. One to two million. How many are in the baby before it's born? Six million. Very good. Now, let me uh, end with this. Brian is so smart. He knows it so well. He didn't even set the clock. He knew I was <laughs> That's why he said it for me. <laughs> <laughs> now, I just want to leave this with you, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to sound bad, but then it's going to get good. All right? Now, in 2001, 77% of the people in Canada said that they were Christian. 77%. This is uh, now 2022, but in 2021... 53% of the people in Canada say that they're a Christian. See what's happening? This thing is, re is reducing. In 2001, 16% of Canadians said they believed in no religion whatsoever. In 2021, that's increased over 30%. You see what's happening to our country? But I'm gonna make you happy. Everyone say, I am going to be happy. Now listen to this guy, this is so good. That's why we are, Brian, we are, uh, right, the next generation. We are interested about the next generation. That's why we've had these generations. Um, the generation of 18, the kids that are from the age of 18 to 34, everyone above that age, it's reducing. Let's all say baby boomers. Baby boomers. There aren't a lot of baby boomers, but there are a few of us boomers in here. I just love to say boomers. That's why I said baby boomers. They are reducing, but listen guys, the ages of 18 to 34, they are one and a half times more likely to say that they are very religious, which really means that they are saying they are very spiritual. So something is happening within the younger generation. And those are the, the people we really, now we need to focus on them all, but we need to focus on that younger generation. That's why you guys are going out there and scared to death and happy things are happening out yeah, there, yeah. which is fantastic. All right, guys, did you get that? We were born to reproduce. God did not create anything Basically, generally speaking, that does not reproduce. It has the seed within itself. Don't go make converts. They're navel gazers. They just look at themselves. They don't care about anybody else. Make disciples that will be able to reproduce. And uh, we're going to continue to build for the next generation.